everybody, this is the one and only GM, and today I'm gonna watch the knee versus Arson Ash combo breaker 2023 grand finals. And um, I'm gonna break down the whole set, I'm gonna commentate over it, and I'm gonna tell you what's going on in the match. And I know you guys really like when I do these kind of videos, so I'm gonna do this kind of video for you guys. And you know, be sure to like and comment, and uh, let's get right into it. So we got uh, Kunimitsu versus Feng Wei. Um, Kunimitsu is almost a, it seems like Arson Ash likes to play with the same type of characters because Kuni and Safina are very similar. They both can just turtle you out the whole game and run, but they can also just like rush down the whole game also and just keep pressuring you with like safe options and stuff like that. So they both, and they could take like, you know, more, more ham risk or more risk in this situation. And Lee's going to stick to Feng. Feng is pretty much, you know, been the same in every Tekken game. Down two, down three, down four, one back, one Kempo. So, yeah, we're going to see how this match goes. So, Arson is on winners, and then Knee is in losers. So, let's get it. Back four. Jab, jab into the step two. Yeah, poking back and forth, trying to get a feel of each other. Arson Ash is kind of going in. Knee's trying to condition with the headbutt. So, yeah, he just got hop kicked in the face because Knee kept trying to do the quarter four one plus two headbutt. Free to the hop kick. Now the wall pressure. Oh wow, Knee just keeps doing it even though he got hop kicked. No, no fear. Nice punish on that. Now Knee's on the con trying to conditioning. Wow, nice cross jab by Arslan to avoid the the plus frame situation. Wow, yeah, that was that was kind of obvious that down back three. One thing I learned from this set from watching it on stream is that Arslan, he kind of just sits there and tries to like hard read lows a lot. So you have to be careful doing launch punishable lows like that. Okay, so he's he's pressuring. Seems like Knee's trying to figure out a way to open him up defensively. But Arslan is kind of just like going in, making hard reads, the good steps, armor moves. Gotta be careful with that. He's doing a lot of two, two into, wow. That was bad by knee. He could have definitely forward, forward, three that, the launcher, and then launch that slide. That was a weird situation, though. But Arsenal has complete control of the match when it comes to the offense situation of the match. The knee's not really um, going for any counter hit stuff. There you go. He finally did a counter hit. There you go. He has to do more counter hit stuff to stop Arsenal from consistently rushing him down and opening him up. Because Knee is trying to open him up, but Knee's not doing any counter hit stuff. So Arsalan can just mash back while Knee is trying to pressure him. Because Knee is not stopping him from mashing back. You get what I'm saying? So Arsalan doesn't really have any reason to not press back in this situation. Because Knee's not going for no counter hit stuff. And Arsalan is just playing really comfortable right now. Nice punish. Nice punish again. Nice punish again. Nice one, two, down back three. Nice, nice down back threes while staying four. Two, two. Nice down four, three plus four. Try to poke him. Nice, nice spacing. Knee's finally using some sidewalking. He's still doing lows and patterns though. Yeah, he should, he should definitely do some back ones. That's one thing he's not doing to stop Arsene from going so crazy with the offense like that. There you go. Now he's finally interrupting. Nice, nice sidestep. That was perfect. Nice punish. Now he, now he just needs to close it out without getting hammed out. Yep. That's when that's when Cooney starts going crazy. You have to be careful when Cooney has low health. She goes for the the dash into the fierce cross of the knockdown low, and then she can mix it up with the launcher. That's the thing too, the second hit of that low track, so you gotta just sidestep hop kick fast. You better be careful doing that. Yeah, he should have back one right there. He's not doing any back ones at all. I don't know why he's not going for Apparently Knee doesn't like to go for um counter hit fishing. Cause it's he, he believes like it's too hard to read people's buttons at times. But sometimes you just gotta you just gotta do it to show your opponent that they shouldn't be like just recklessly rushing you down like that. 
That was a bad counter hit bait. So it seems Nii is just bad at fishing for counter hits. I could tell he's not really good at it. He got 2-2 two -two to death, yeah. He kept trying to step. She's like, look, if you need somebody, if you're thinking about switching characters, I can steal this round, bro. I ain't got the tournament for you. Just like my mama taught me. Yeah, he kept trying to step too much, so he should just keep trying to back one of them and interrupt it instead of just like eating offense all day. Okay, now he's trying to pressure a little bit more. No throw break, surprisingly. I believe that's a one plus two. Yeah, he's just trying to play defensive, trying to get a step, trying to play as safe as possible. Nice down two. Nice down two. Finally got a counter hit. You see, if he kept going for counter hits like that, he would be better off. Oh, he tried to do a knockdown low. That's crazy. Yeah, he's just getting opened up, man. Opened up, man. Because it's like, it's good to play defensive and, and, and wait, but like against a character like Cooney or somebody like off, like Arson that's so like offensive, you're going to get opened up pretty bad. Oh, he didn't, he didn't finish it. You gotta be careful doing them down back threes like that. Like, there's no reason to go for a down back three if you don't need to do it. Especially if you have a left leg. Like, every, all the situations like that, he could have back one them in between. And when he does the one down forward one two, of course, you could jab in between it. I mean, not jab, but wait till he finishes and punish it if he's not finishing the whole string, because the whole string is minus 14 anyway. You see, he's, he's trying to utilize sidewalk a bit too much, I think. There you go. He thought a down back three was coming. So situations like that is good. Yeah, it didn't work because Cooney's a smaller body, a female body. So it's like. See, Arsene is just relentless for offense. And he just kind of getting opened up. I think he has to space a bit better too to get Arsene away from him. Yep. He keeps trying to step after the down forward one. One, two. He's going to keep getting clipped by it. He should just stand still and then punish. But he's losing the poke battle, for sure. Nice down two. Nice down four. Or two, two. Nice on the back. Oh Damn man, yeah. He got, he got to. We got to remember this is Tekken Seven. You gotta wait a little bit. Yeah, you have to wait a little bit. Nice shoulder, yep. No reason not to do it. Great tracking, chips on the wall. Seems like he tried to move or something. We go, we jabbing back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Nice down two. Damn, yeah, he tried to do down two again and got counter hit out of it. That's the thing with Cooney, man. From a distance, she's too dangerous because of that set two nonsense. She could do set two or she could do that dumbass low. That's like a slide and then a counter hit gets a counter. Oh, that was good. Interrupt. Shoulder. That's a lot of damage. Damn, that was a big whiff. You, I, okay, that was good too. I know it's neat likes to do down back three at the end of the round a lot. It looks crazy too because you see him inching forward and looking at understanding when to. That's how you get it to do what you Alright, let's go to the next match. That wasn't too bad. I think the adaptation from Nee has to come to be willing to do some counter his setups to stop him from the overall offense and probably step a, a bit less after blocking DF once. And also be careful with doing lows and patterns after like jab, jab, down for one pressure. Oh, that was a nice back, too. To stop. Damn, that does a lot of damage. That homing move. He, he's a, he really lost half life. You see, he keeps doing, like I said, man, when, he's, uh, when he has no health, he keeps doing down back three. That down back three is keep, like an Arslan sees the, um, 
the pattern of him doing down back three when he had, when he has no health. He should have launched. That was launch punishable. Four four two. Damn, them two twos is clapping him, man. You gotta hold back, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know why he tried to do that that slow ass move while getting pressure like that. That's why I said Nini has to go for more quick counter his stuff when he's getting mauled like that. Cause sometimes you can't step. Sometimes you can't step up close. Yeah, that was a nasty whiff. Yeah, sometimes you can't step like certain stuff. So it's better just to mash your way out of it. Just how Tekken works. You have to mash. You can't just like sit there and just eat stuff all day. You see, he tried to down back three of them. I guess he tried to read a jab or something. He's also not doing Fang's one plus two. One plus two with Fang is really good if somebody's just jabbing and doing DF1s because it's a punch parry. I notice he's not doing Kempo at all, neither. Kempo could, you know, show her that you're willing to try to evade poke situations to deal with it, to deal with the offense. The Arson is just in his ass, pretty much. He's just like rushing him down. And he's super confident. You can tell he's just doing whatever he wants offensively. And when somebody does that offensively, that means you have to you have to do something to stop them from being so confident on the offense. Yeah, you gotta do something to stop him. Now he's gonna get mixed up on the wall. Yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, you see, he's not scared to do 50-50s or nothing. And Nee is not um, he's not really going for 50 50s neither. He's just trying to poke him down. But you can only poke down for so long in, in Tekken Tekken Seven. Yeah, there's only so long you can poke. Damn! Look at that. He keeps like I said. You see, he keeps trying to step on hit, and for some reason, he keeps doing crouch dash at range zero when he's getting mauled. I don't know why he's getting cross dash. He's getting hop kicked in the face with it. Somebody's pressuring you with one, two jabs and just constantly pressuring you like that. There's literally no reason for to do a move that's meant to be done when your opponent is playing fully defensive. See, now he's he's taking a big... You see? Nee needs to do stuff like that. Nee's not really doing any 50-50s neither. Like, of course you don't need to, like... Do 50-50s all the time, but you got to do them sometimes. So it just seems like Nee's just not doing a lot of the stuff he should be doing in this set. Arsenal has too much control right now. Way too much control. And defensively, he's way too confident, too. He ducked it, but no launch. The more familiar he gets with this matchup, the better it looks for Nee. Get off of me, lady. Hands out of my pocket. I know what you do. Oh. Nice down back four. Yeah, he got the wait. I don't know why he swung into that. He should have waited and punished. <sighs> the now twos are not working neither, man. Do some back fours to stop him from stepping. You see? If he would have done back one right there, he would have counter hit his ass. Because that stuff is not like plus. It's low negatives, but you could... Man, man. Yeah, he's, he's having trouble stopping him. You see? He keeps doing down back three when he has no health. So I see Arslan is noticing that about Nii. That Nii is always going for down back three. Nice down two. Yeah, he's getting opened up. Mixed up all types of stuff. One, two. Down two. Down two again. Yeah, too much down twos, man. Can't just sit there and block the whole game because it's going to be rough. Nice down two again. Damn, he's, yeah. That's rough, man. He's getting stepped. He's getting opened up. Yeah, he's doing too many down twos, man. He's not using a lot of Fang stuff. He's kind of just mashing down two. I don't know what's good with me in this set. Yeah, I don't know what's good with Nee in this set. He's kind of playing too, I think, too solid. Yeah, I'd be kind of bummy when you play Tekken 7. Like, kind of like the way Arson is playing. Arson is just doing whatever he wants, though. Shoulder his ass. If Ars 
Excellent wins this round. All right, we poke in. They yeah, there you go. You should have hop kicked him on that. Nice, he finally hop kicked him. All right, take him to the wall. Bomb, no shoulder. Down back three, good. Nice, pressure him on the wall. It's a lot of down twos. Damn, even his headphones fell off. I'm done. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go straight to the match. Good move. Scream at it. Damn, you guys are good. I can hear it. All right, let's go to the next match and see what happens. Kunimitsu with his fang, the uh, two-two right now. All right, they poke in no walls. Of course, Arson always does that when he loses. He goes to no walls and he just lames it out. I think they should take the, that rule set out. You shouldn't be able to pick a, a stage if you lose. It should be random select like, when you lose. But yeah, he's just like, he's just going in. All offense. All offense. I don't know why Nee doesn't play Paul more. I think Paul is good against players that play like this. Because if somebody just goes ham and they run into like a down forward two or quarterback four, any type of counter his stuff, like it'll, it'll stop him from being nutty. Yeah, that's how I said four. I don't know why he did that. No punish there. Nice down two. Finally, see some counter hit stuff now. Down for a two two. Lots of folks trying to find a hit. Back four. Two two man. So good. Nice oh, one plus two there. Yeah, he's getting poked up. Come on. They seem like they turn a little bit. Nice throw break. Yeah, the time is going down to zero a lot in this set. Down two, get punished. While staying four, down back three. Damn, he's, he's trying to down back three. Wow, that's a lot of down back threes. I'm done, bro. This man did the crouching tiger hit and dragon flip on him. I'm done, bro. That was smart as hell, though, because there's only so much down back threes you can do. Damn, he messed it up. He's probably not used to it because she's a smaller body, so a lot of stuff whips on her. Nice. Finally, he blocked it and punished. Alright, let's turtle a little bit more. Alright. Yeah, it's weird. He's not using no Kempo. It's good to show Duke Kempo at least one time to show him that you wasn't to do it. Nice. Nice. Nice set two. Yeah, too much. One two down twos, man. Down two, down lows and Tekken are kind of like this. If you do them two two, like most some most lows are unseeable, right? But if you do a low two too much, it becomes seeable because people get used to the animation. So down two is one of those things like that. If you do it too too much, your opponent's gonna start blocking it like Arslan is doing it. Yeah, these gonna have to come back. Yeah, he got counter hit. He tried to interrupt in between. He's so lucky that I traded like that. Yeah, they so. You know what I'm saying? So we going back and forth now. That was really close. It traded on the raise drive right there. So real lucky. Real lucky on that. Nice set two. While staying four. Lee is starting to um, use his plus frames. Arson tried to mash it between the down back three the last round. He got hit with the while staying four. Yeah, so Arson is kind of just going ham because he knows Lee is just going to sit there and block. So, okay, nice. Like I said, you see, he finally used counter hit. Finally used counter hit and it worked. Nice. He should have back one them right there again. Oh my god. 
Damn, this is so close. Wow. Yeah, that, that was that was really good. Let's go. Let's go to the next one. I wish the commentators would actually like say what's going on in the match a little bit more. They kind of just scream and yell without even telling people what's actually happening in the match. But you know, videos like this is good, so you guys have to understand what's going on at a high level. Meta, cause commentators they not. They're just gonna go hype and scream and just say final round. But you know, videos like this, you know, we could break it down for you guys and actually let y'all guys know what actually goes on in these sets without being like too meets out like we like to say so you know we we poking back and forth nice nice throw break nice punish okay throw break there one two two Back four, back four. One, two, two. Down four, two, two. And four, two. One, two. Damn, he could have hop kicked that, man. He could have definitely hop kicked that. Yeah, some counter hits. I would have back. I would have back one them. I would have back one them. Cause you, you gotta like you gotta show that you won the nice. He thought a low was coming. So they scrambling. They scrambling a lot back and forth right now. Damn, he finished the whole string on them too. Down for one, two, one. 2-1 whatever that was a nice flow with the down forward three yeah he's every every time he makes some blocks on like down for one or one two he does that that uh, string with the sword to stop him from sidewalking that's what he's doing damn he ran right into that down forward that launcher this is gonna do a lot of damage damn okie too while staying for yep he he flinched a bit he flinched a bit on that situation. One, one, let's go. We turn a bit more too. All right. He threw break, get off him, control the space a bit. Nice back four. Nice back four again. Wow, Arson is really winning the match. After back four and hit, he matched. But back four and hit is only like plus two, so that's probably why. That's what I'm saying. Need needs to do more counter hit stuff to stop Arson from being so comfortable to match whenever he wants to. You gotta be careful with that too. The two two, because if you go um, if you do low, he could he could do the dive kick and then launch you. Also has a high crush from that too, so you have to be really careful against Cooney. Yeah, that knocked down low. Yep. That was so godlike. Yeah. It's so cheesy, this character. She has all the tools to win. He could have back one of them in between. I don't know why Nee keeps getting hit on counter hit by strings. Yeah, that down two. He tried to do the down two to get him off of him. Maybe do down four forward with um Fang to get him off. Back to the wall now. I think Arson is playing pretty much perfect in this match. I don't really see anything wrong that he's doing. Yep, he hop kicked him because he tried to do a crouch dash in between up close like that, which is really risky to do. He's probably dead. Yeah, he tried to do down back three at the end of the match. Now that I see this match again, I see a lot of patterns. I see a lot of patterns. If I was Chanel, I would tell Nee to play a different character. If not play a different character, tell him to go for more. Uh, it seems like he told him about the low parrying thing. To stop getting low parried. I would tell him too to go for more counter his stuff, but. And try to do some Kempo or something. Because it's kind of weird to see Fang without zero Kempo. You know what really 
open up that last set and bought knee back for back once. You know what's crazy? I think knee Steve would have been better in this set, actually, when I think about it. Because the way Arson is playing, how offensive he's playing, with Steve, he could definitely get a lot of counter hits. Look at that. Every time he tries to approach. Because of how offensive he's playing with Cooney. He could have got a lot of back ones and counter hits and punch berries and stuff like that. Just to deal with this offense. Because he's not really losing because of, you know, the turtling defensive play. He's losing more just because he's getting opened up and mixed up and poked up. He's playing too patient. Yeah, he's playing way too patient. And he's also not, um, yeah, he's just getting mauled. And he's also not, like, when he, j he keeps jabbing a step even on hit, he has to take his plus frames a lot more neat, too. Because Arson is just playing, he's just freestyling. There you go, full four two. Yeah, there you go. Interrupt him finally. Don't let, don't let him maul you like that because he thinks you he thinks you're just gonna sidewalk and turtle. And sidewalk and stuff like that and backdash. He doesn't expect you to like swing back. Yeah, he finally using the plus. Finally. It seems like he's been trying to do that a lot. But the 2-2 two, two keeps tracking that way to stop him from sidewalking it. So that's why he's sidestepping left to avoid the DF1. But he's getting chipped a lot by doing that. Nice back four. Yeah, he's trying to get him to duck. So he's doing down forward three to see if he's actually going to duck and then get launched. See, the down two, I would have did down four three again. Because Arsenal is definitely looking for lows defensively. He's looking for a lot of lows. Getting poked up. While staying one two. Two two. One two, one two. Oh, he's getting one two all day. Down back three. Down four two two. Boston at one. Went for the punch parry. Nothing came from it. This oh. Ooh. Five and right, in, right in between that. And mm. I love he's got so many good escapes to get out of the wall, right? Having your back wall, that's where Nia's found most of his comeback. That's why it's so scary against Bang. There's that set mix up again. Makes him go back to the jabs. No, you're 100% right, though. So we doing full offense right now? Yeah, just jumps out of the corner. Or he's got the set throw with the throw break. Puts him out of the corner. Yep. Always goes to it. Set two. Set two, two, two. Really got him guessing. He's really mixing up those options out of set. Poking up, up close. And two, two. Down four, three plus four. Down four, three plus four. He's getting poked up. Damn, two, two. All right, let's see, man. Yeah, Knees is suffering. Like, it was cool. It's good that he restarted the set, but he got really lucky the first set. Down forward one, two. Arson is just doing the same stuff, just mauling him. Yeah, you got to do something up close instead of getting mauled all the time like that. Back four. There you go. Finally. He finally did something. Finally. Low parried. Almost. He could have sized up hop kicked, right? One, two. Yeah, he, he keeps swinging in between strings, too, and getting counter hit it. Like, that move is really good. Down 4, 3, plus 4. That move is super cheap. He mixed them up right there. Could have either done that or the... Okay, this is going to hurt. Oh, that was bad, man. That was, that was a choke. Yeah, too many lows at the end of the round. He fired the Kempo. That would have been a launch right there. Not a 
switch from either one of these guys so far. Four four two down two. You can definitely see why. Masters of their craft. Wow. Yeah, beautiful side to right. Well, I'm saying one two back four. Sidewalk, actually. Two two. Good. I'm saying one two. And the Diablo one is causing all sorts of problems right now. Two down four two two. Maybe. Yeah, at the end of the game, man, when your life is low, too many down back threes, bro. Yeah, it's gonna. He just kept them on the wall and pretty much just baited the low out. Okay, now the down two. Yo, is he gonna? No, no, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not even gonna say that. You know, I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm duck the string, watch. punish. Quick duck, two twos. Arsenal is trying to win the tournament right now. Oh, down four one. Beautiful step block. Down for one. Down for one. Two two. Nice. Down back four four. He is a rat. Yep. Arson did it just by poking him up. Hey, good stuff to Arslan. Um. Yeah, man. I hope you guys like that video, man. I know when people, like I said earlier, when people commentate these sets, they never really break it down. So I like to, you know, make videos like this so I can break down sets and y'all can understand from a high-level perspective like me, from a tournament veteran like me, and what I saw was going on in the match. Arsene controlled the whole match offensively, and Nee was playing way too passive. And um, wasn't really trying to, was trying to fo focus too much on playing defensive and trying to get steps for launches and stuff instead of trying to, like, have some kind of counter hit game to get Arson over him, off of him. And uh, Nee was too desperate with lows at the end and wasn't using Kempo and a lot of tools to deal with stuff like Fang's 1 plus 2. He was just playing Fang very limited in that set. But... He still played great. He got second place for start of the set, so it was a good set. Um, yeah, so check out all my content. Fighting GM um, underscore Tekken. That's the Twitch. Metafy.gg. Fighting GM if you want some coaching from a veteran like me. I also have a HelloFresh sponsorship. Please use my code to support my content. And also check out my Nexus.gg fighting gm uh capcom store if y'all want to buy street five six and other capcom games and check out my rogue energy and then all my other stuff like twitter and everything is also fighting gm so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace out and take care